was so overwhelming, so surreal, that you know it took it took almost a full day to realize what actually transpired, and that we weren't really going to get many survivors out of the pile. The attacks and aftermath of September 11th, not only in the minds of many firefighters, these two have made it their mission to make sure people never forget. And now they're in Hawaii. This year will mark the 10-year anniversary of the deadly attacks. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. While there will be somber reminders around the country of those who lost their lives, in Hawaii, a special tribute will also take place. KITV Force Paul Drews explains why each mile will have meaning in this memorable event. It's a hero's welcome for a pair of visitors from New York, and it's only fitting as they are heroes who came to the rescue after the attacks on the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center on September 11. Even though it was nearly 10 years ago, they cannot forget what happened. There's probably never a day that goes by that it doesn't enter your mind. Something always uh, triggers a memory. Besides the fact there were so many firefighters that were killed that day. Stephen Siller was one of those firefighters who rushed in to help, running three miles on foot after traffic blocked a tunnel to the towers. Stephen was off duty at the time, but felt the compelling need to go help. So he tried to hook up with his company that was already there. So he ran through the tunnel with all his gear on, which weighed 60 pounds. Stephen died when one of the towers collapsed, and in his honor, each year a 5K run is held along the same route he took. This year in Hawaii, on September 11th, there will also be a 5K run on the Ford Island Bridge. While the run is in honor of a fallen firefighter, the money from the event will go to help a different kind of hero. Heroes like Rosemary Mesa, an Army Staff Sergeant who was injured in Afghanistan and had to be medevac to Hawaii. She spent three years without her kids. They were left in Guam as she recovered from surgeries, complications, and treatment. We needed Fisher House to house us because there was no way we could afford Hawaii. Rose Marie and her husband were able to stay in the nonprofit Fisher House at Tripler, which gives soldiers a place to call home as they heal. They provided a lot, a lot more than room and board. They provided uh, comfort, reassurance, positive healing. They provided a whole lot. Now the Fisher House says many of the wounded troops from around the Pacific don't expect to be medevaced in and stay in Hawaii for so long. They and their caregivers stay on average between one and four months. For those interested, the Stephen Siller Run begins on September 11th at 7 a.m. For more on the event, head to our website, KITV.com.